welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a Crazy Creations mystery bundle. So I've seen Crazy, crazy Creations um, at conventions and stuff and it never really interested me. And then they did the volume event in the beginning of this month, May, and uh, they showcased them and I was like, you know what, I would really like to give them a try. Well, I went on their uh, website and was just overwhelmed and they had a mystery bag but it was sold out. Then on Memorial Day, they had a mystery bag, $24.99, and then it was $0.79 cent shipping. So I said, yep, I'm going to do that. So I got the mystery bag one. They had one and two. And I think that was really nice because, you know, if you want to buy more than one mystery bag and you don't want to get the same thing, you can get one and two. So it came. Pretty good. We're going to see what's in here. Um, and then I'll do a little demo, I guess, of what it is. Oh, there's stamps. I didn't know it was going to come with a stamp set. Cool, look how cute he is. Little dog eating some socks with a ball. Oh my god, I didn't know it came with stamps. Oh, I'm excited about that. So their premise with uh, Crazy Creations are these outline um, stamps. You take them out and then you color. So this one is Crafty Sayings. Crafty Sayings. This one is call outs. Oh, this is cute. Hello, celebrate, happy, thanks. That's cute. Um, and then this is a really good good amount for the price. Um, then we got shoes. Cute. Oh, I didn't know they made them like clear. This would be good for watercolor. This is a deco flower. I didn't know they made made them clear. This would be great for watercoloring. It's got some butterflies in it too. That's cute. Then we've got happy birthday. And this one is happy birthday. Um, some more clear ones. Hugs, get well, take care. Uh, this one's called hug, hugs, hugs line. I hope you guys can see these okay. And then we've got some more clear ones, which are, I cannot read what it says for this one, but they're just a bunch of flowers like daisies. Um, and then we got some leaves, some random leaves thrown in here. Um, these are just leaves. We've got three, seven, four, threes, what this one is, some fun. They look like they're connected. They're dots and they look like connect connected. So it must be like a outline. Stacked cupcakes. And we've got 3700, which is really cute. Some numbers. 3121. And then we've got... Zero seven zero. That's cute. Oh, and then they have so they have card card of the month clubs, and then they have the girl clubs. It's called Morning Girl, and um, I like the idea of the clubs. So you get a bunch of stuff to make either cards or tags with the girls on them. That's cute. We got four five zero two. Another stamp set, and this one's pretty. Silicone, that is pretty. I love that kind of flower. I love poppies. Poppies are one of my favorites. This is adorable. This is 4036. Skeletons dancing. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, okay. Then we've got 1923, the fairies, best wishes, oh, elephants, four, four, one, zero, five, or four, seven, zero, five, I'm not entirely sure. How oh, cute. Um, oh, some more dots. 1863 on the dots. We've got... 
3767 and this might be hard to see but it's all like monday tuesday wednesday so there's a different set of font up here and then this is more scripty font down there don't know if i'm going to use those and then a huge sheet of 3507 which is some more flowers so that was a really good deal and i didn't know i was going to get stamps so i'm going to figure out what i'm going to do but i do have i think this is spectrum noir really um soft kind of paper what they their like name to fame is their um handmade glitter card and then you call her i don't have glitter card so let me set up for a minute and we will i'll show you what the premise is all right i decided to do the cute little elephant so what you're supposed to do is take peel him up very carefully i'm doing this off camera sorry but i don't want to rip them it's very delicate so you got that. Put it on your paper. Okay. Then you are left with an outline, so you could potentially do something cool with that. I am going to have to get his eyeball up. Oh, where'd he go? I popped the eyeball off and it went flying somewhere. No. Well, geez, oh, Pete. I guess I'm going to try to steal this guy's eyeball. Okay. Whew, got it. Okay. Then I've just got some old school, probably the first rendition of Spectrum Noirs. And I'm going to try to do, you can see these three colors. And you just color in with your Spectrum Noirs. Uh, your. You haven't ever colored with alcohol markers, and these are really dark. I think I picked the wrong colors. Um, you do the lighter, and then you do um, try a different lighter color one. You do lighter, then you do the darker where the shadows would be, and then you add um, the medium tone. Okay, that looks better. I got um, IG4 instead. I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do these three instead. So. He's just going to have a really dark ear, apparently. Apparently. It's going to be a really, really dark ear for the poor elephants. So, yeah. So, this is kind of neat because if you have a smaller craft space and you can't, like, store a bunch of dyes or something, um, this would be really good, I think. Um... Uh, to do because you're using it up. It's a it's a usable um, kind of thing. You know, once once I use up all the elephants, they're you know they're done. There is no more. So so then I I put the light down. And now I'm putting the medium over where I put the dark. Just to um, add in some shading. And then I always go back over with some of the lighter color to kind of smooth it out. And I'm, I always do like little circular, circular motions if I can. I mean, sometimes when you um, do it in a small space, you can't. And then it will dry better. It will dry. It won't dry so weird looking. For lack of a better word, it should probably... Don't do it on your stamp mat. You could ruin that. Because um, it does go through. So. Alright, let me see. I'm going to finish coloring up this little guy. And then I'll get some papers together and we'll make like a little card. So, just a second. Alright, so I've stamped. Or stamped. I've colored all the images. And what you want to do 
after you fussy cut them all out is get a black sharpie or black marker and you're going to want to go around the edge because you're going to have some white unless you're like an amazing awesome terrific fussy cutter you're going to want to do that just so that you don't see the white um especially like this little flower stuff i wish i had a finer sharpie i do not it's gonna have to be something i'm gonna have to put on my list of things to get but yeah you just want to go around the edges because you're gonna have white spots and you're gonna want to cover those up All right, I have all the coloring done. And if you can see with the uh, elephant, it's not very smooth transition. And that's because I didn't use the colors that are right in the color family. Um, many years ago when I got these, I kept all of the packaging because it tells you what three colors go together. So that's why it's not that smooth. I particularly don't care. I think it looks cute. So we've got uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. Base. I picked black because the outline is so strong on this that I figured black would be really good. Um, I cut four by five and a quarter piece. I cut a five by three and three fourths. And then I had this really cute embossing folder. So I did that on the edge. I cut, I think these are stamping up dies. So they go together and we're going to get this card put together. So, so yeah, this is a lot of fussy cutting with these um, products. So if you don't like fussy cutting, I wouldn't probably recommend them because it's a lot of cutting out. Oh, you know what? Shoot. Don't want to do this yet. I do this to myself all the time. All right, we'll get back to that in a second. I'm going to put some ribbon on it so I don't want to... Um, do that. And I'm going to actually... I need some. I need some things off of this. Oh, you know what? I didn't show you the colors I colored with it. So let me show you the colors. Quite a few. Um, and a lot of mine, because they're so old, they're dying. So I didn't use three. So for like the yellows. This one's a new one I got. I like their new ones because they're in threes. So everything's together. There's that. So I don't even know if these are the same names for the Crafters Companion Spectrum Noirs. Because these are like five, four years old. Um, yeah, these are all the grays I was trying to figure out how to color the elephant. And then of course you need a Sharpie or black, black, uh, I'm just taking some of the little pieces off of here. So yeah, I'm I'm really impressed with this uh, mystery bundle. Like I said, I went on their site and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to get. I don't know what to order. Um, and they had the mystery bundle and I was like, oh, okay, I can do that. I like, I love mystery bundles. I don't know about you. Um, I love them. You get a bunch of stuff you probably wouldn't have tried or were interested in or whatever. gonna pop him up a little bit and layer him and then uh, this one I didn't glue the little uh, strings down because that would be a pain in the butt to fussy cut I think um, and so it's gonna be fun to try to glue this down but I think I think that looks cute so we're gonna need some glue on the bottoms here and put some glue on that part Tuck that in there. Okay, that's really, really 
really adorable. All right, so what I was gonna do before I got all excited and I was gonna put stuff together. All right, so glue this down first. Then I'm gonna take, I got some ribbon from the dollar store. I like getting my ribbon from the dollar store. It's really inexpensive. And then we're gonna, and since we are in a time crunch, well, I'm a little bit of time crunch. I don't wanna make this video super long. We're just gonna take some tape, tape one end down. Then tape this end down. Okay, now, is that straight? Okay, it's straight now. So that way I can put it on my card. Now we can put the glue on the back. Um, I don't know where I got this paper from the pattern paper. I think I got it from a convention. And then the purple paper is just from oh, Michael's, I believe. It was a big pack of purple. I love purple, so purple's my jam. That looks really crooked for some reason. I think the, um, like this piece looks really crooked to me. I think, uh, put that on there for a second. I think, um, putting it through here made it a little crookedy. Um, I got this paper from Michaels too. It's their just their thick black paper. Okay, and then we're gonna put that there. I think I'm gonna pop it up. I love I love dimension. I do not like finding these little bits all over the house. I don't care how well I clean up or vacuum or whatever. It's always all over the house. Drives me nuts. This little guy probably right there and then I'm gonna do a bow all right so we're gonna use the memory maker bow maker to make a bow I don't know if you guys have ever seen this so you're gonna decide what kind of bow you want I think I'm gonna go here then you're gonna go tie it like that you're gonna take this end through here this end through this bottom part flip this over and then you're just gonna tie it and literally that is the easiest way to make a bow. Like tight and tight and you just pull this off and you are left with a really cute bow. Put that, I'll worry about the tails later. I'm gonna put that right about there. I think that's freaking adorable. It's really cute. Okay. I like this glue. So I've had this glue for about two months now, but it really, really dries up in the tip, like a lot. Like I feel like every time I use it, I'm gonna have to um, just constantly be putting the pin in it to make it not do that, which is slightly annoying. I always take care of my tails after because um, I've been known to cut it too, too, too short, and then you've done all this work, and it's like, Ugh. okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a light gray and just kind of make a shadow under him, and by here, just to, um, so it doesn't look like he's floating in space, basically, and then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do on the inside. I always like to decorate on the inside, um, and so... Give me a few minutes on that and we'll see what we're gonna do. All right, here's the finished card. I so cute. And I did put a little gray under there. You can barely tell, but it does add to it. And then the inside, I used the, bir the happy birthday um, stickers that I got in the thing too. The birthday was really hard to put down. The happy was fine. Um, and I just cut some more of the paper and then a white piece. So that turned out 
really, really cute. I really like it. Alright, so that's what I got in my grab bag.